Hey right bags, it's Jade with a bit of a different video, especially considering this is on my channel pretty much devoted to grounded and more chill survival games. But I am announcing now, I'm going to be your go-to guy from here on out about Avowed. Just shown off was the Avowed story trailer at the Xbox Showcase, and given it's obviously made by Obsidian, kind of makes sense to me that I'm going to showcase this game right here on this channel, rather than one of my others. I reckon a lot of you grounded players out there will actually enjoy this, judging by the combat and the RPG elements, maybe missing out a little bit of course, because it's not going to be a survival game, no base building or anything like that. But definitely I think there's a lot of crossover appeal, and you know you want to support your favourite developers in Obsidian in whatever they're doing. Well, I do anyway, so that's what's going to go down. I'm going to showcase this game when it comes out with gameplay, guides, news, you name it, I'll be there to cover it just like I have with Grounded. It may not have the same long lasting appeal because these types of games do often tend to be one and done, or certainly not have the longer lasting appeal of survival games, but I'm definitely going to be there to cover it all while we wait for news about Grounded 2. The trailer looks amazing, I'm really hyped for this anyway, I've been excited since I saw the reveal a good few years ago and I've been covering some of that news on my main survival channel, where I have dabbled into RPGs like Assassin's Creed and probably will do in the future, but I figure yeah, the crossover's there, I reckon a lot of Grounded fans are going to be trying this out purely because of the name Obsidian. If you've been living under a rock and you don't know what Avowed is, it is a game set in the same universe as their Pillars of Eternity series. It is an action role playing first person adventure game, taking on goblins, monsters and other humans, bandits with special powers and of course a lot of focus on melee combat. But clearly lots of ways to play with the mage options on show and elemental attacks that you can do. I've been digging the vibe of this, it's pretty colourful compared to most RPGs which somehow drew some criticism with some people concerned it just wasn't realistic enough, but I like the vibrancy of it, I really feel like it's something a bit different and if it's anything like some of Obsidian's other games like Outer Worlds then I'm sure it's going to be a massive hit. If you was expecting some news about Grounded, then no. As I said to you guys a week ago or so, we won't hear any news about Grounded 2 now until probably next year. I am somewhat surprised there was no actual release date given for this, other than we know it's going to be coming out at some point later on this year, or is meant to be, it's strange it didn't get a release date, much like some other games like State of Decay also not receiving a release date, while other games were given release windows like Fable being told 2025. But based on what we've known before and kind of the inkling from rumours, it will probably be coming out any time between September and November later on this year, so I'll be there to cover it. So there we go folks, now pretty much a fanboy of Obsidian confirmed. Any details about their upcoming games, I'll deliver it to you guys. 